It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now here's Dennis with today's report. Hi and thanks again everybody. I don't really like doing obits on these newscasts, but two really interesting people have died in the past day and we need to remember them. Actor Robert Culp, the versatile star who teamed with Bill Cosby in the groundbreaking adventure series I Spy has died. His agent says he died after falling outside his Hollywood home, hitting his head on a sidewalk. He was pronounced dead on arrival at a hospital. I Spy aired from 65 to 68. It was a television milestone in a lot of ways, a combination of humor and adventure. It broke new ground, and it was the first series that had two stars, one black, one white. Culp was 79. You may not know the name Robert White, but if you love aviation, you do. He helped in the development of manned spaceflight, was the first pilot to fly a winged craft into outer space. NASA says he pushed the envelopes of speed and high-altitude flying and was one of the people portrayed in the right stuff. Best remembered for a flight in July of 1962, he flew the rocket-powered X-15 to 320,000 feet. That's 60 miles up, 10 miles outside of the atmosphere. Disturbing news from the FBI. That agency says it's investigating threats against Democrats after the vote on health care. Those reporting to Steny Hoyer had their reports relayed to the police. Hoyer told the FBI and Capitol Police that he's been briefing lawmakers on how to handle the threats. The FBI statement added that the U.S. Capitol Police and others are now trying to investigate who is threatening members of Congress. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.